In the heart of Georgia, a verdant haven awaits, the National Botanical Garden of Georgia, a captivating sanctuary where nature's brilliance unfolds in a mesmerizing display. Embark on an immersive exploration of the National Botanical Gardens that are dominated by soaring waterfalls and a tapestry of flora that weaves tales of conservation, despairing controversy and sheer natural beauty. From meticulously curated collections of exotic plants and enchanted themed gardens to a desecrated graveyard and an oligarch's palace all overlooked by an ancient medieval fortress. Each corner of this living museum reflects the diversity of nature and humanity in Georgia that's hard to believe is in the centre of a capital city. The National Botanical Garden of Georgia is located in Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia, and lies in South Kisits Khali Gorge, on the southern foothills of the Solalaki Ridge alongside a medieval Narikala fortress that originally dates back to the 4th century. Entry is only 4 lari or about $1.50. Sometimes the booths aren't managed and you can come in for free. Every season offers something different and there's always greenery or something in bloom. The public park occupies an area of 161 hectares and possesses a collection of over 4,500 taxonomic groups. Its history spans more than three centuries. It was first described in 1671 by French traveller Jean Chardin as the Royal Gardens, which might have been founded at at least 1625 and were referred to as the Fortress Gardens. Pillaged by the Persian invasions of 1795, the garden was revived in the early 19th century and officially established as Tiflis Botanical Garden in 1845. Between 1896 and 1904, the garden was expanded further westward and herein lies the first big controversy. Between 1932 and 1958, the territory around the former Muslim cemetery was included into the botanical garden. Most of the tombs were removed, but several graves have survived, including that of prominent Azerbaijani writer Mirza Fatali Ahmadov. The central entrance to the garden is located at the foothills of Narikala Fortress. The other is on top of Botanikuri Street, near the Juma Mosque. There is another old entrance, cut through the rock as a long tunnel which had been functional until the mid noughties when the tunnel was converted into a nightclub called Gvirabi, meaning tunnel. Around the corner from Botakanuri Street, you can take a glimpse of what is to come in the park. A waterfall gushes into a gorge as the smell of sulphur greets you. The area is known for its sulphur baths, but this is for another video. The gardens have attracted scientists and botanists for years. Each section has unique flora that are worthy of study. Now the National Seed Bank is home to you. The park offers an orangery, rose garden, Japanese garden, bamboo forest, a cactus patch, herve groves and a plethora of native and foreign trees scattered among man-made features like fountains and ponds.
For those seeking adrenaline, there is a zip line that allows you to glide down from Solalaki Ridge to a spot near the Japanese garden. One of the most exhilarating places in the area is a giant waterfall that tumbles down off a cliff. Catch the spray below or wade in the stream. Cross the bridge above it. Tourists love to take photos near the bandstand nearby. In 2011, the National Botanical Garden of Georgia received funding from the Royal Botanical Garden and the Radford Foundation in the United Kingdom, and this supported the rehabilitation and expansion of plant conservation and the department building. The restoration of the historical monuments in the Botanical Garden began. The central bridge was renovated, two towers from the fortress, and a fragment of the fence was renovated from the fortress as well. Included in the renovations was Tamara Bridge and a historical building at the central entrance. You can spend hours moseying around the babbling brooks, along pathways, up and down the stairs and be at peace with nature. The further up the valley you wander, the more narrow the park gets, and the wide river turns into a babbling brook and creaky bridges. An oligarch's mansion controversially spoils the view at the far end of the park. Bidzina Ivanishwili, the 554th richest man on earth, built his $50 million complex on the hill adjacent, where it is rumoured to supposedly house exotic animals like sharks and penguins. It has been referred to as many things. A glassel, a Bond villain's lair, and an unopened airport. Walk past this complex to get to the lesser known parts. climbing wall area and an outdoor gym sit next to yet another waterfall. There is currently development to take the gardens up through a man-made cave and into Upper Tsaukisi Valley where, yes you guessed it, more waterfalls and bridges await. This is currently under development and has been so for years. I hope they open it soon as the area provides a different sort of landscape. The highest points of the botanical garden offer an incredible outlook over the city and beyond where you can see snow-capped Caucasian mountains and most of Tbilisi in relative solitude. Georgia has been known for almost mythical gardens since the Greeks wrote about the medicinal gardens of Medea and where Jason went to fetch the Golden Fleece. Whilst not devoid of some controversy, this is truly paradise in any season for Tbilisians and tourists alike.
If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, as we will offer more content both similar and a little different in the future.